There's a hole in our culture where there should be a discussion about maturity, truth, and responsibility. What, what should you do with your life? Um, well, take care of yourself, but take care of yourself in a way that also means that simultaneously you're taking care of your family, and that and also means that simultaneously you're taking care of the broader community. Personal success, but in a way that your success breeds success. Because if you're going to establish a name, why not establish like a really good name? That's a good one. It's good for you. It's good for everyone else. Yes. Okay. That'll give your life some meaning. Now adopt, make a plan, develop a vision of what your life could be like if, if it was worth living, despite all its suffering. It's like, what would you need so that you would be happy to be alive? You'd find your life meaningful so you don't get all bitter and resentful and cruel and hostile and ideologically addled and like murderous and genocidal. It's like none of that. You think real hard. How would you have to configure your life so that despite its suffering and the malevolence that's part of it, that you would regard it as worthwhile? So that's up to you to develop a vision. Then put a plan into practice. And so when I talk to people about this, most of my audiences are young men. It's probably about 65, 35. More and more women are showing up, but that's about what it is right now. The halls are dead silent. You can hear a pin drop. Because nobody said so clearly for like 50 years that almost all the meaning that you will need to get you through the hard times of your life is going to be a consequence of adopting responsibility. Freedom, no problem. Even freedom to do impulsive things, fine. But that isn't where you're going to find the meaning that keeps you sustained through the storms of life. That's going to be, you take care of yourself, you take care of your intimate partner, you take care of your damn family, you don't run off, you take care of your community. You rescue the wisdom from the past. You stand up straight and you be courageous despite the fact that life is tragic and tainted by malevolence. Stop saying things that make you weak. Stop telling lies that you know to be lies. Stop doing things you know to be useless and counterproductive. Aim high, adopt some responsibility, and then see what the hell happens. You know, and to be able to say no to something is to be able to put up a fight. So, and you can't do that if you're, if you could be pushed around. You want to lay your life out so that, well, so that it's providing you what you need to not be bitter and to work for your best interests and for the interests of everyone else.